In the world of data transformation, reshaping your data structure is an important skill to have. And that is exactly why we're going to cover two main important topics today. First one is pivoting your data, which is just the process of transforming data from a long format to a wide format by reorganizing the data in a pivot table like structure. And the second one is unpivot or melt data, which is a process of transforming data from wide format to long format by converting columns into rows. So without any further ado, let's just get started. Hey everyone, welcome back. Now for today's exercise, I have created these two data sets. First one is called pivot CSV. And this contains three columns, year, country, and new cases. Basically this data represents new COVID cases, which occurred in these particular years. And the second data set, which is unpivot CSV is the same data set only. However, in this, we have country column, new deaths and new cases. Now, in case you want to follow along, the links will be in the description where you can download these data sets. Now, coming back to our Google Colab environment, as you can see, I've already imported these data sets into my workspace here. And you can do the same by dragging and dropping your data set onto this panel or else placing your data into Google Drive and then connecting your drive using this button. Now, once you have your data, remember to copy the path for that particular data set so that we can refer that in our code. Now, before we begin working with pivoting and unpivoting, it's important to import pandas. Now, since we are dealing with a CSV file, let's use that CSV file to read into our environment and create a data frame and then paste the path that you got earlier. By default, if I run this code right now, it's going to give me an error. And the error says UTF-8 codec can't decode byte in position 1093. This is happening because if I go to the data and scroll down, you will find in certain rows, the country name does have special characters in it. Like for example, in this case, okay. Now UTF-8 coding does not recognize these characters. So in order for you to run this or create your data frame using this data set, there are two ways to do that. First of all, either you can clean your data set before importing or else you can use a special encoding technique and that is called Latin one. Okay. So I'm going to enter a comma here and say encoding is equal to Latin one. Okay. Now what this does is it enables the code to read each and every character. However, this has some side effects. For example, if I show you the final data frame, the country name that we were referring to earlier might have a different entry altogether. So let's now filter that particular country name and see how it is represented in our data frame. Okay, so I'm going to create a new data frame here and I'm going to use the lock method to filter out that particular country name. Now, after execution, let's check the data now. Now, if we see the special characters have been converted into some weird form, which we are not able to read. However, for now, I'm going to keep it as it is because the main intent is to show you how to pivot and unpivot. But in actual scenario, we would either want to clean this data first or use a different type of encoding to rectify this. Let me know in the comment section if you know about any particular encoding which will solve this problem. I would love to learn that as well. Okay, moving on. Now, if I check my data once again, what I would like to do is convert this year column into column headers. So in order to do that, I'm going to use pivot. So let's create a new data frame pivot underscore df, let's say, and I'm going to say df dot pivot. Now the dot pivot method have a couple of parameters. First one is the index. Now in this, my index would be the country column. Okay. Now mind you, whatever index that you're putting in, it should not have any duplicate values in your data set. So what I mean is, let's say in year 2020, I should not have more than one row item for Afghanistan. In year 2021, I can have Afghanistan again, but for the same year, I should not have more than one row entry. The second parameter is for the column. Now, in this case, I would want the year column to be converted into column headers. So I'm going to use that. And the final one is values. And in this, I'm going to use my new cases column as my values. Now, if I execute this, as you see, it has now converted my year column into 
a column header where each year has its own column now. Now, if this is clear, let's see how we can unpivot a certain data. Now to unpivot, let's use the unpivot CSV file and I'm going to create a new data frame using that particular data set. Now, if you notice, I'm using the same encoding method here, Latin one, because the unpivot file also has the same issue in the country name. Now let's run this. Now in this, what we need to do is we have two column headers, namely new deaths and new cases. We need to convert these columns into rows so that Afghanistan has two row items, one for new death and one for new case. So for this, again, we're going to create a new data frame. And in this, we're going to use df1 dot. Now in unpivot, the method that is required is called melt. Okay. And you open up and within melt, we have again, couple of parameters. First one is the ID wars parameter. Okay. Where we will be using the country name. Second parameter is variable name. This will have the new column that we will be creating, which hosts the new deaths and new cases. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's say we name it as new data. And the final parameter is for value. And again, we can call it anything we like. I'm going to simply call it values. Now, if you see the columns that we had earlier, which was new deaths and new cases have been converted into rows now, and each country will have two row items to represent that. And also their respective values assigned to this values column. In case you have more than one column, which you want to keep in the row item, like say you have another column by the name of country code, and you want that to be kept in your rows then you would have to enter the new column in the ID was parameter inside square brackets. But for now, since we do not have any additional columns, we would just simply remove it. Otherwise it will give an error. So I hope you understood how we can pivot and unpivot data set with these methods. And in case you have any doubts or queries, please do let me know in the comment section or in case there are any other scenarios which you want me to cover, then please let me know. I will be happy to do that. If you're liking this content, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you do not miss any content that I upload. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.